This blue bit of line is an overhang marker. It tells me when I should make the forward cast. To use the overhang marker, you need to get used to seeing it, okay? You're watching it, it's a visual aid, it's a visual aid. You can retrieve line all the way to your feet, okay? Stripping in, stripping in, stripping in, stripping in. But I've got my mind on where that blue bit is. So when I make false casts, I'm looking for it in the rod rings. There it is now. I can handle a bit more out the rod tip, make the final cast. <laughs> and you can make 80 foot casts like that. But I'm watching all the time that blue bit slipping into the rod rings and I'm stopping it just before the forward cast, depending on my ability. If you've got a short stroke, you're a beginner, you'll have to stop the blue bit before it gets into the rings of the rod. If you're intermediate, you can have the overhang marker inside the rod. If you're an expert, you can start with the overhang marker all the way outside the rod tip. Make long casts like this. <laughs> pull line off the reel then. It just depends on you and your ability. Think of it as a visual aid. If you're in doubt, bring the overhang marker all the way inside the rod rings, strip it past your hand onto the floor. When you make a false cast, make one false cast and then fire it out. You'll see it still goes a long way. If you've got a longer stroke, you can slip that overhang marker into the rod rings. One, two false casts, and now I'm gonna make the final cast. And there's an 80 foot cast. If you're an expert and you've got a long stroke, pull that overhang marker in, as though you're fishing, you're just stripping line in, pulling lures, whatever it is. Here's my overhang marker, it's gone onto the floor now. One, two, there it goes. This is my final cast. Okay, <laughs> that's a hundred foot line and it's all gone. Two false casts. <laughs>